Hello, my name is Wayne Cords. I'm the South Regional Section Manager here at the Minnesota Pollution Control Agency. Today we're going to learn about emergency manure spill response. No one plans to have an accident, but we can plan to do what we have to after the accident. First off, you should review and become familiar with your company's emergency response plan. Have some important numbers programmed in your cell phone, such as your site manager's phone number, the company's phone number, things like that. Also, some farms will have their own response plan. You should read those ahead of time to know what you do, as those are specialized plans for each of those farms. Do not wait until the manure reaches surface wires or leaves the property to acknowledge you have a problem. How you react in the first five minutes can determine if a small accident will lead to a large environmental impact. For instance, on slopes as low as 2%, liquid manure can travel up to five feet per second. In five minutes, that's over a quarter mile. If you look at it that way, in the time it took me to read this slide alone, that manure could travel 300 feet. The basic steps in responding to a spill are, first off, respond to any medical emergencies. Call 911 if needed, if there's a medical emergency. Human health is the first and foremost item you want to take care of. Second thing is, stop the flow of manure. Third, contain the spill. Fourth, call the Minnesota duty officer at 651-649 5451 or 1-800-422-0798. And there may be others you need to call for assistance too, such as your site manager company, or maybe an excavator uh, company that can come help you clean up the spill. The fifth thing you want to do is clean up the spill. And lastly, document the incident and cleanup efforts. I'll now go through each of these things in detail to help you understand what is meant by each of them. Stop and contain the flow. Stopping the flow or discharge is a primary concern after human health. And it can be as simple as turn off the pump or plug the hose. In the picture above is a demonstration that was done at a field day to show how manure could be stopped using straw bales and plastic in a five gallon bucket. It was dammed up with the plastic and straw bales and then the intake was covered with a five gallon bucket with rocks on top of it. The bottom one picture is an actual discharge which uh, the owner had a placed a 55 gallon barrel over the intake prevent any manure from going down the intake. So simple things like this can stop the flow. After you stop the flow, you want to call the duty officer. You want to confer with your site manager on the need to contact the Minnesota duty officer. That number once again is 651-649-5451 or 1-800 422-0798. You can pause the presentation at this time and put those into your cell phone as Minnesota duty officer so that you always have them on your cell phone. When you call the Minnesota duty officer, they can assess the situation and contact the appropriate responders, likely the MPCA staff, to help you out with clamp and other duties. Lastly, you want to document the incident. Work with your site manager to document the incident. What caused the incident? Estimate the amount of manure that was spilled. Do the manure reach waters of the state? And what step, steps were taken to clean up the spill? These are important details that will need to be recorded as there will be future reports that are required, that are required to be submitted to the MPCA on this incident. So during this section, you should have the basic understanding of your role in manure spill response. Because each company is different, it is your responsibility to read and understand your company's response plan and understand what your role is. There are many scenarios out there in this this presentation could not cover all of them. So please read your company's plan and understand what your responsibilities are. If you have questions, talk with your site manager or your company owner to clarify what is meant on your role. The, basic other, the other basic objective learned is the basic understanding of common ways to stop or contain a spill. They can be turn off the pumps, dam the flow, cover or plug surface tile intakes and or culverts. They can be as simple as that. Thank you.